I'm Lauren Green, and welcome to Buy and Spash. The world watched last night as Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump defended himself over the audio recording that was published last week, displaying him making crude comments about the treatment of women. The media exploded after the recording was published, but how have they treated Donald Trump versus similar scandals from other past presidents and nominees? Well, here to weigh in is Fox News contributor Cal Thomas. Welcome, Cal. Hi, Lauren. Thanks. Yes, you're right. The media have been gorging on the disgusting and completely indefensible comments by Donald Trump made about women 11 years ago. And yet, they virtually ignored or played down in this presidential campaign behavior by Bill Clinton before, during, and after his presidency. Hillary Clinton has said recently that women who make charges of sexual harassment and rape should have those charges taken seriously. I completely agree with her. So then, why have the media turned a blind eye to the often repeated charge by Juanita Broderick that Bill Clinton raped her? And what about all of Bill Clinton's other women, from Paula Jones to Kathleen Willey and so many others, known and yet to be revealed? Why are the media not taking their charges seriously as Hillary says they should? Over the weekend, Broderick and Willie were interviewed by Ed Klein for Breitbart TV. To this day, Broderick breaks down as she details her allegations of rape against Clinton decades ago. While the media seem to enjoy rehashing the audio tape of Trump's disgusting remarks, they seem to care not at all about Bill Clinton's behavior and Hillary's help in covering it up while trashing his female accusers. Don't they have a responsibility, especially to younger voters who did not live through the Clinton years, to inform them about his behavior, the allegations against him, and his lying under oath, which led to his impeachment? Watch the interview of Juanita Broderick for yourself at Breitbart.com, because you're unlikely to see it on the broadcast network, CNN, MSNBC, or read about it in major newspapers. Who's more credible, Hillary and Bill or Juanita Broderick? The media covered up the affairs of John Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson, too, probably because they favored the policies of those presidents, at least until the Vietnam War undid Johnson. It's no secret from reading newspaper editorials and watching the reporting of TV journalists, they prefer Hillary Clinton and will most likely vote for her. This isn't about which candidate is worse than the other. It's about fairness and coverage. So the public has sufficient information to consider whether the character of both Trump and Hillary should be a deciding factor before we vote in less than a month. Lauren? Well, Cal, you know, Clinton surrogates have been bringing up the fact that Bill Clinton isn't running for office. So his indiscretions should not be up for discussions. What do you say to that? Well, that's true in, 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 a, in a point, but of course, uh, during his presidency, when they were up for discussion, many of those people in the media and in the Democrat Party uh, were saying things like, well, it's just sex. It has nothing to do with his performance as president. Now that the uh, shoe is on the other foot with Donald Trump, it's all about sex, and it is about his character and fitness for office. So, you know, the hypocrisy meter is in overdrive in the media and in the Democratic Party, Lauren. All right. I want to thank you so much, Cal. Thank you. And to hear more media analysis on the week's top headlines, catch Media Buzz with Howard Kurtz, Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern and again at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. I'm Lauren Green, and thanks for watching.